Welcome to another Iron Man episode. I'm going to start this one off by doing what I was talking about in the end of my last video, some archaeology. Actually doing it this time with the porters that I got in the last video. It is going to be very AFK and chill to do it this way. The only things I actually have to go and bank are these salt water muds. When it gets full in my box, 50 of them, and then I get a full inventory, then I actually have to go and bank. But otherwise I can just AFK for a very long time. But uh, before I start the video, I want to say I do have a Discord if you want to join that. A link to that is always at the top of the description. But uh, I do have a counter here, so uh, let's get into some archaeology. Though before I get completely stuck into archaeology, I did actually complete 5 daily challenges of some good stuff like, for example, archaeology. Though I didn't really have enough whiz wax to extend it, so it's not only going to be a normal one. But let's claim all the experience, 238,000. And 14.6k of that is archaeology. Just recently hit 65 archaeology and to be able to go to the next place I actually have to complete this mystery where you have to put in four or a total of you have to put in three crests. One is already in there and that will unlock the next area which is for 65 archaeology and that means I have to get three of them. And uh, I had one, but I didn't think I had to use them for anything, so I kind of threw it away. But as this is for like level 20 archaeology, it should be pretty fast to get those three crests. Finally got the three crests, and let's put the last one in and see what happens. Maybe I get a cutscene or something. As you place the final crest, you hear a faint click. Something unlocked and interact. And I should get to another area now, I think. Climb down, secret passage, and uh, this should be for a bit higher level. So, uh, pretty cool area. I think there is another area that I'm actually supposed to be able to go to, but uh, that looks a bit different. But maybe I have to go down here or something to reach that. But uh, yeah, I'll explore this a bit. So to be able to get to the next area, I have to uh, pretty much repair this ritual area. And uh, to be able to do that, I have to get the uh, four diary pages from the cultist footlocker and some other of these things. So I basically have to uncover another mystery to be able to get to the level 65 area. So let's do that real quick. It actually takes a while to get these. They have an uncommon drop rate, but you need four pages. So I just got the first one. That's the second page got, and I actually don't even have to use my Grace of the Elf Snake here because I can just excavate here, deposit all the material here, and I can save the charges for the future. Third page, only one more to go. There we go, got the last page, and uh, now we can redraw the circle, and I'm not sure what's going to happen if I get some archaeology experience or not. Maybe I just stand in here and maybe chant, and... Okay, I have no idea <laughs> what this is going to be. I guess I just press something. Okay, that was uh, the wrong thing. Just go through all of them, I guess. Uh, seems to be the correct one, so I just do this for all of them. And this is what happens when you complete it. This actually looks like the uh, Ocarina of Time animation when you finish a boss. If you know what I mean, that's <laughs> it's very similar. But uh, let's go in here and see if I get to the area I wanted to get to. Yes, this is the area I wanted to get to. And uh, did I get any... I got 1.4k archaeology experience. So nothing too good, but uh, some roleplay. And I will be able to use this area now, which is 65 and above. Or I think it's like some 61 stuff and so on. These are the ones, very close to a material cart. So that is going to be very nice. And getting back to the bank with all the soil might be a bit slow, but it should be fine. I actually want to see how much experience one of these relics are going to give me, so uh, I'll get back to you guys when I finish this bar. Okay, so let's have a look at how much experience I will get if I fix this one. 3.5k, and what do they cost? Okay, I have 84 of this one, 44 of that one, 30 of that, and 118. So I can already make a couple of these and fix them, so... I have enough to get like 10,000 archaeology experience in materials already, so I can just be here for a while, I guess. Actually, something I definitely should do is I should complete the qualification assistant. I only need to get one unique collection for an archaeology collector. I can just do the really low level ones. And then the restorer, I only need two more, so that will come when I actually complete this one. So I'm going to have a look at what collection I can complete, and I can actually get this uh, assistant rank. 
So in my bag I have the last items to complete this entire samurai and one log so let's just put everything in and that is now the step completed. 4000 chrono notes let's just add that and I guess if I go in here check qualifications there we go I should be able to get assistant yes there we go I guess it's uh, going to be a cutscene or something uh yeah probably not that interesting pretty quick cutscene but these are the things that you get access to research not sure exactly what that is but access to assistant rewards in the archaeology guild shop and unlocked archaeology assistant title I don't really care too much about the title, but I do want to go into the store and see what things I unlocked, as well as I think I can send out missions now, like an archaeology team and get missions out. So there were some things I clicked on when I was doing uh, the excavating that said I needed assistant rank. So I guess if I go here and assistant, I can get soil box upgrade for 3.5k chrono notes, and I already have 8k. Or I can get precision, but I think I should actually get... How much more is this? Increase the capacity to 30 items. Uh, I don't think I need that. I think the best thing is the soil box upgrade. And uh, to 100, so it duplicates it. I'm going to get that one. That seems really nice. So on the first glance, I do assume this is like a mission table. Like a mobile game thing that you can spend your chrono notes on. So you basically just send out uh, these uh, archaeologists guys out on missions. And you get experience for it. And it costs more chrono notes the more experience you want to get basically. And you get some materials. So for example, the Everlight dig site. If I want to get materials from that. I have 4,700 chrono notes. So I can do like 8 hours. Then I still have some. And I get 6.3k archaeology experience after eight hours and i just start a mission and that's pretty much it just hit 68 archaeology which is another milestone i can go to another area but uh, also i got these reports back so let's see i sent out a mission for 6300 experience view the report claim and i get the experience and i get a ton of supplies actually this is really nice these are the new ones I'm going to stay for at only one level actually. I'm going to be here at 69 and then at 69 I actually go to the Everlight dig site. So I have to leave this area. 70 archaeology achieved and I can now work towards the next title. But that is pretty far away. Some big requirements for it. What I'm probably going to do is I'm going to use up all my porters and then stop doing archaeology for the video. I currently have 20 porters left as well as I already have 500 charges almost in the neck. So it is quite a lot more. But if you're wondering how slow archaeology is, I have been getting a rate at about 15,000 archaeology experience an hour. And I'm almost at 400,000. So that is like 25 hours of archaeology for six levels i think so it is very slow and uh, actually doing tears of gothics is like four hours of archaeology that you get for free every single week and i can actually do that so i'm going to go and uh, get some nice free experience from tears of gothics not quite 200 tiers, but 191 tiers, so uh, just short of 60,000 experience. 57,300 experience, and that puts me only 17k away from 72, which is another area I can go to after that. Got that 71 archaeology, but I'm staying here just a bit more to complete two mysteries I had to do. I got one done now, I got the boots, and I just have to walk over here somewhere. There we should go. And uh, after this I just talked to the guy outside and I should get a decent amount of archaeology experience and I just have to get like a note from excavating these and I get another mystery done. Oh, I had to go over to the uh, second one as well and I got a 9.3k archaeology experience for that mystery. Okay, uh, I've been doing this for like two and a half hours now and uh, this guy said he just got it upstairs and I actually thought you could only get it down here. So I've been doing this for no reason. I already had completed the uh, mystery. So uh, I can leave this place now. But I got some decent experience I guess. Uh, pretty close to 73 already. So I can actually go to the next area now. The 485 charges I have left on my necklace with the porters are actually the last porters I have. So I'm just going to be in this area which is level 72 to 74. Until those porters end because I probably won't be able to get to 74 in these so 
probably going to end on 73 or close to 74. After I used my last porters, I ended up at 73 archaeology and not too far into the level, only like 20,000 experience in, so not that close to 74, but I did complete two daily challenges and they actually kind of finished each other. Mining and smithing, both are extended, let's see how much experience. 94,000 smithing and 94,000 mining. As they are the same level, you get the same experience, but yeah, almost 100,000 experience just from that. So after doing a lot of skilling, I want to get back into bossing, and I do want to really get Virtus, Brobe, top and bottom, because my mage gear is kind of bad, being the uh, subjugation gear only. For ranged, I have pretty good, you can see, like, Cyrenic, and I have the tier 80 God Wars 2 dungeon gear for ranged. And my melee is also alright, but my chest and my legs for magic is really bad, so I really would like the Virtus one. As you can see here, I only missed the chest to be able to have the full ceremonial gear as well, so if I can get that from one of the next minions, that would be uh, very nice and make everything easier. Just in case you don't know what the ceremonial gear does, is that it uh, lets you bypass the uh, KC requirement of 40 Saros kills every single time you want to do next, and because I only do one single kill, kill per trip, uh, having the full set makes it so I don't have to get this 40 KC between every single kill, which saves quite a lot of time. Sometimes I just struggle so hard with the blood phase, and that is why the kills can be so slow sometimes, but uh, hopefully we'll have some better phases in the near future. Grimy Torch Souls are actually a really good drop, I was actually out of them, and that is 40, and I can make like 20 overloads more in the bank, so actually very good for a drop. Quite a lot faster blood phase this time, so 8 mini kill, and we get some Torstal seeds this time. I always forget them somehow, but uh, I remember now the Ruby the Criminal Bolts are super good for Nex, so I actually got a 7 minute kill this time if it can die here. The proc is really good for the blood phase, you can proc like um, 8000 damage instantly, which helps with the blood phase a lot. But that was an achievement, 25 and next kills for some magic seeds. Okay, this is looking uh, a bit risky here. This is actually the most sketchy kill I've ever had on X. I wanted to try the Reckless Aura for a bit, but I was taking so much damage. And oh, oh my god, I'm actually going to die. The boss started soul splitting when I was like 1 HP. No way. Oh my god, no way. Oh, I didn't even get to see what loot I got. And there's like no way I can get back, right? I think in a, in a session there's like no way. Wow, that is really, really unfortunate. Oh, first kill back though, Ancient Ceremonial Top. That is the last piece I needed. Finally, after like 28 next kills, I got the full set. Quick Hunter Detour for an extended challenge. Let's uh, get the reward for this one. And this is going to be 66,000 experience for 82 Hunter. I want to get to 88 and then at 88 I can actually, in the wilderness, AFK these uh, moths. They're called Charming Moths and that is a very fast 99. Oh, no, come on, Virtus Boots, a duplicate, Ah, oh. Well, it is an item, but it is a duplicate. I don't know if it's ever, like, worth uh, disassembling these or anything. I guess I uh, just don't have to repair the boots one extra time, but they are so cheap to repair. But, uh, yeah, a drop is nice, at least. Okay, so this is going to be the last kill of the video, kill number, like, 13 or something. I've obviously mo done most of the kills of the video. Some magic seeds, but uh, at least one drop. The drop rate of like getting any item at all is like 1 in 20. So having had, uh, I think, 3 drops in... Uh, oh, actually, I've had 4 drops in 36 KC is pretty lucky, actually. I actually want to end the video with getting a 99. I have a 98 summoning, and I actually have quite a lot of charms. Well, at least enough charms to get 99. 600 blue, 1k crimson. I'm probably going to try to make 1,000 of the uh, Jack pouches because I already have some Jack hides and on an Iron Man you can just buy them from a store which is pretty cheap. So it shouldn't be all too much of a problem but I'm probably going to use the blue charms and it might even be enough for me to get 99 on the blue charms so I will start off doing that. But uh, the materials I have to get for the blue charms is Runite bars. So I will have to go and do some mining, but I do think, yeah, I have 200 runite stone spirits, which is going to speed up the process by a lot. But uh, yeah, I'll uh, try to make 600 runite bars. 
Got all the rune bars done and it is the Amblod Aura in the Priftenas area so I get 20% more summoning experience so let's use all these bars and I think that might actually be enough for 99 just this. Here we go, this is the last inventory of rune bars to make rune minotaurs and actually all these pouches are probably going to go to invention stuff as well, I can disassemble them for some decent stuff. But that is another 99 for the account, 99 summoning, so now I can stop getting summoning daily challenges so I can get some more useful ones. But that is going to do it for this video. It was really interesting to actually understand a bit more about archaeology and I already have some plans for archaeology that is going to be some nice unlocks for the account. But before I end the video, I want to say I do have a Discord, as I said in the beginning of the video. If you want to join that, link to that is always at the top of the description. Also, if you did like the video, please leave a like. It really helps with my videos getting recommended and all that. Same as if you want to watch more of my content, subscribe to the channel to be notified when. You know all this stuff, but uh, have a good one, guys. Take care. See you in the next one.